Hey everyone, hello everyone, so it's your boy Yashua Gaming and in this tutorial guys, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna display your FPS okay, display FPS counter alright, like work in the uh, River Tuner statistics okay, or TSS and how to make your FPS appear something like this okay, to display your GPU uh, your VRAM, GPU temp, CPU temp yeah, let's get started First of all, what you need to do is you wanna open your browser, you wanna search for MSI Afterburner, and this when you download the Afterburner, it's going to install a software. Okay, a built-in software it will be available for you to install. Okay, it's going when you do install the MSI Afterburner, it's going to prompt you to install the River Tuner. Okay, River Tuner statistics. Alright, so make sure to install both. Um, I've already installed that okay so it's going to be on my desktop and when you open the MSI afterburner okay so this is the MSI afterburner so if you hover your mouse right here it might for you it might be show ever anywhere okay all right so this is what we call the river tuner statistic server okay Th this one all right so I'm gonna uh, we'll talk about it later okay so this one is the MSI of the burden as you can see this is a default uh, screen default interface like say if you'd like to change the user interface like the skin there's a bunch of skins here you can choose any of them all right uh, we will be focusing on the monitoring okay so you'll have to click you'll have to click settings go to monitoring and take your time guys if you haven't done this take your time and select only the important one okay so something like gpu usage gpu temperature core clock memory usage cpu usage cpu temperature cpu clock memory clock ram usage frame rate frame time so you don't need to enable them you don't need some people will say to um click here and click show on screen display and then hit apply okay no don't do that make sure that you don't show in on screen display okay rearrange them so let's say you want to select a bunch of them okay you can click the first one scroll to maybe the last one okay and then uh, hover your mouse on uh, on where you would like to select okay maybe if I want to select this one the RAM usage and process so I'm gonna hover my mouse on this and then on my keyboard I'm gonna press control and then shift and then left click on the RAM so it's going to be select all okay select from the first one automatically select all to take your time and rearrange them into a better way okay like this so this is gpu usage temperature cool clock okay gpu clock the cool clock that means gpu clock cpu usage this this okay rearrange them okay one percent lower fps okay all right then you will need of this one okay Okay, as for this one guys, so once you open this, the River Tuner statistics, okay, so it's going to look something like this. Um, double click on the raster 3D, okay, so this going, it's going to bring up the font, so you can use any font, so I prefer to use this one, uh, GeForce, okay, GeForce, bold, and then 10, okay. Alright, and now for this one, the X, okay, so this is the X and Y coordinates, okay, so just click here, type 15, press enter, it's going to bring it like this, and again, 15, 15, alright, so to edit, you can use these arrows to up and down, okay, or you can just click on the value right here, type like 20 and then press enter okay 
this one as well so once you press enter it's going to be uh, in, inputted like that so again let's say this one the text too small you can increase that the text like this but don't go any higher want to stick with 10 okay then what you need to do you need to click on the setup right here so this will bring up the properties tab now uh, you want to scroll down and enable benchmark mode this must be enabled okay this must uh, it is optional it is optional it is mandatory it is important it is a must okay you cannot just forego this okay it is a must you must enable this benchmark mode otherwise it won't work yep and now we're gonna go to plugins all right so for the plugins you're gonna see both of them will be turned off okay enable both of them click here click here okay and then click on the overlay editor you can either double click on the overlay editor or you can just click setup it's going to open this uh tab right here or you can if you choose to double click on it it's going to be the same thing okay it's going to open this and then right here what you need to do is to click on data sources click on edit okay overlay data sources you need to click add and then choose msi of the burden and then just enable all okay enable all and uh, not all some like um when it comes to the app so frame rate that is fps okay frame time maybe later uh this one percent low and maybe frame time as well yeah 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 um fps yes and then um mm -mm -mm, average fps and this one okay yeah so these are the settings that you will be using okay these are the, the following preset so click on ok all right now click on layers click add okay double click this remove this and click on uh, use custom colors click this choose a, a color like maybe um, black and then move the opacity to um, 65 okay click ok hit apply and ok and now zoom in so that you will be able to see the rectangle okay so this is going to be a rectangle right all right like this a rectangle so now we'll work with this rectangle and so on okay so i'm gonna duplicate this rectangle okay so to duplicate just click on this rectangle okay you can double click on it like give a title like a rectangle one all right it apply okay okay now i'm gonna duplicate this Control c Control v okay all right and yeah like this okay double click this is rectangle 2 apply okay all right now i'm gonna add some text on the rectangle so add layers text okay so this is uh right here so uh the first box okay it's optional that you label them as we're gonna give a, a name here as title uh this one's going to be like max settings all right max settings and add other layer like um dss on 
like uh, max setting using DLSS. Okay, then you wanna duplicate this text like um, DLSS quality. Okay. That. and you can zoom in zoom out as well um this one may be rt on and you usually play on 1440p or 1080p or whatever 4k resolution and yeah now for this one you can give like title one okay so this is going to be title one maybe title two and title three uh, okay now you can use custom colors this one let's choose a uh, lime green Right, like this, something like that. Okay. Maybe something like this will be good. Okay and right here you're gonna for this layer add a text layer this one may be like what is it uh gpu usage okay so rtx um 4080 okay rtx 4080 use custom colors you can use custom colors or what colors again green or I don't know you can HTML color whatever HTML color picker okay and you can choose whatever color that you'd like right here we'll just copy okay right here the RGB as you can see if you hover your mouse to maybe a lime green Okay, is this one it this value 100 134 255 okay 134 255 and 28 okay red green blue uh, GB all right and um, hit apply okay again so this one i'm gonna make it like uh, 110 and copy paste this this value shall be white okay so this one shall be white i use custom colors white this and gpu usage so so see what i did right here i add a column space and then click here uh look for it gpu usage add current value macro this it apply okay all right again so this is 110 whatever okay yeah uh, something like this yeah. this should be good yeah like this should be good or should i just uh this this Okay, so yeah, now I can just duplicate this. Uh, what what else do we have here? So it's uh like GPU temp. Okay, make sure to label this as well. GPU temp. Apply. Okay, and just copy this, paste it right here instead of this one. Just remove this. Add gpu temperature right here take this add current value macros it apply okay okay 
Ram usage or whatever you wanna give like this. This one is RAM usage. Add value to macro. Apply OK. Now we're gonna copy this piece right here. So now we're gonna do the the lows. Okay, one percent low. So it's low one percentage. Okay. And this one uh be the white. Okay. Um. All right. Let me do the average FPS as well. Average FPS. Like this and. Um, okay. So one percent low. Okay. one percentage low so it's if you do like this see what will happen if you do one percent low add value to macro it apply okay it's going to change into zero fps it's not good uh what is this one okay it's going to change like uh just 60 and this one zero fps it's going to show zero fps so it's not good okay what you need to do is for this one is one percent low okay i have some rts macros right here right here okay some rts following macros okay so you can see these are the tags that you have to use okay uh one percent this one what is 0 0.1 load okay so this one so you have to use this bracket this and uh, and then add your fps right here okay so this is one percent low apply okay um this one is average fps so instead of just writing 60 right here um this one will be avg on no, F R A V G F R A V G and then you can write your FPS right here. Okay. 
après. Um, now for this one, guys. Uh, for this one, the app ah. clock and just drag this. Okay, this one, all you gotta do is to write app right here. Okay, so this one is for FPS. Uh, this one I'm gonna use maybe a red. Yeah, and for FPS, run fifty. Okay, and now for the FPS, this is what you need to do. FPS FR. Okay, FR, and then FPS. It do look something like this okay. and um, what else players maybe if you'd like to add like frame time frame time graph ft okay, ft uh, this one frame time like MS okay so this is going to be the MS thing like this yeah. this Okay guys, so this is the final look. So this is how it's going to look. Right? So I'm really digging it right here. So you can see I'm gonna switch to full screen now.